the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting for July 8th, uh, 2015. Uh, we have a short agenda to uh, tonight. We have to do uh, minutes for both December of last year and for February of last year. Uh, we don't have a quorum to do the, uh, uh, the February uh, minutes, but we can do December. And on December, there are a couple of things I picked up. Second page, we've got four I votes, and yet they only total to three. Mm, I believe everyone who voted was there. And so I think the count has to be wrong. Yes. And, yeah. and Mr. Carr Hughes, I, I don't know how to spell his name, but we have a Kruha, and I think it's Carr Car Hu, K A R H U, or something like that. This is, we can check, check, the, check the files and the plans, if you would, uh, Brian. Okay. Uh, because we should, we, should have that, uh, we should have that correct. And that's, that's in a couple of spots. And other than that, I did not see anything. Anyone else? We good? Yeah. Okay, I'd move the uh, minutes be uh, accepted uh, as corrected. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Just that down, Brian. And the uh, uh, first item on our agenda is uh, uh, an application filed by Christina Griffin uh, as agent for Mr. Manley and Ms. Light. And this is for three variances to construct three new two-story extensions on a property located at 12 Maplewood Avenue in Dobbs Ferry. Uh, who will speak for the application? Christina Griffin. Uh, good evening. Um, I'm here to request variances so that we can uh, reconfigure the second floor of the house, of this house, so that we can have a two-bedroom, four-bedroom uh, four and two-bath layout. The three extensions consist of, uh, in addition, on this side of the house, which is uh, not a, uh, really uh, doesn't need any variances, which is expanding the house so that we can add another bedroom, uh, and an addition that allows us to create a master bedroom here, and another extension, which is over the garage. And those extensions actually are dormers on each side of the, of the existing roof. And the reason for the variances is because uh, the existing house is, is pushed to one side of the property. And the garage and the, the wall of the garage, which is also, uh, there's a bedroom above the garage, is only 4 feet 11 from the property line on the side, and we require 10 feet. So we need one variance for that because we're extending the nonconformity of that setback when we do the two dormers. Uh, the other set, the other variances are required because of the rear yard setback, and this property straddles two villages, Dobbs Ferry and Hastings, and we actually have a 110 feet, five foot setback to the house, to the addition. But in Dobbs Ferry, we have a very small setback. And because of the, the jurisdiction is Dobbs Ferry, we're seeking variances for the rear yard setback. And the third variance is actually, I think, for lot coverage, because uh, in Dobbs Ferry, the lot that has to be considered for this house is only what's in Dobbs Ferry which is going to be undersized and, and also um, excessive lot coverage if you're only considering that this is the property. And about half the property is in Hastings and half is in Dobbs Ferry, just approximately. Uh, approximately. I think yeah. there's actually a little more in Hastings, mm -hmm. but you see there's quite a bit of property. Right. So, so it's unfortunate, but the house is just yeah. um, situated so that <laughs> Most of the house is in Dobbs, the whole house is in Dobbs Ferry, and the backyard is in Hastings. And it's also pushed to one side. On this side, we have a, a nice setback, I think, of about 40 feet. So uh, even the side yards are, are not really uh, 
working in our favor. This is the existing house, and we did this, these diagrams to show you that right now we have a steep gable roof over the garage, and it comes into the sky exposure plane. And when we add the gable, we were all the, uh, I mean, the shed dormer to the gable, we will also, you know, be within the sky exposure plane, but it already is, it exists so that the house goes into that. We're just going to have more uh, building that goes into that sky exposure plane. So you're saying it doesn't intrude further? It doesn't intrude further. Okay. It's actually set back a little bit. But I guess you could say there's a little bit more mass that's in the sky exposure plane. Uh, these are floor plans. There's a garage on this side of the house on the first floor. Off the dining room, we're adding a family room. We have a kitchen, dining room, living room, and office that exists right now. We're extending this house so we can have a family room. And above that family room, we're putting a master bedroom, which is really an extension of an existing room. And we're going to convert the bedroom that's over the garage into a master bath and closet. And then the existing master bedroom is going to be converted into two bedrooms. And we're doing that by extending this bedroom out into the, there's, an, there's a deck right now that's not really used on the second floor. They have two children and they are really feeling pressure to expand so that they can feel comfortable living in the house. These are our elevations. This is the front elevation showing the new dormer. The, um, the slope of the roof is 12 and 12, and there's only a small area that's really usable in this existing roof line, so we're going to, we'd like to, to extend the roof so we have a dormer in each side so we can create the second bathroom on the second floor and uh, closet area. This is a section over the garage. You can barely see the dashed line, which is the existing roof and the new dormers that we, we were proposing. This is the rear elevation. This is the extension that we're proposing. This is a family room with the master bedroom above. Um, on one side, you're looking at the extension that allows for another bedroom on the second floor. And then over here, you're seeing a new dormer extension over the existing garage. This is the side that's facing Scenic Drive. And this is showing the addition that's over the existing office. And this is our master bedroom extension and family room. So um, that's generally the scope. And um, I'd like to know if you have any questions. A couple of questions, similar to Brian Passively. So Christina mentioned that there was an additional penetration of the sky exposure plane. I just wanted to just make sure that there was no action required on that. On your part? On our uh, part. That's probably going to fall into the domain of the architecture of you, boy. Mm. They may choose to waive that particular mm. area, or they may not, but uh, that's in, at the moment, that's still in their domain. So that otherwise, of the three variances, one is a continuation of an existing nonconforming, right, and the other two are basically just created by the quirks of the property located on village lines. Correct. Okay. You know, it would be really good to clear up the sky exposure plane because I have had experience in the past where it bounced back and forth one board to the other where the ARB said that is definitely requires a zoning variance. But maybe things have changed since then. I'm not sure. Is it in the hands of the ARB now? Uh, they seem to have a little more latitude at this point in time. Mm -hmm. They have actually waived the sky exposure plane at least four times in the last yeah, several the, the language in the law was changed. 
so to to give them greater discretion. I, and, I, and we've actually well, never wait had. A second. I, I, was it changed? What well, hasn't been final? Nothing's been final. Oh, yes. Yes. Right. So so there's a proposal to change it. So it okay. hasn't been changed. So okay. it remains under the existing code. What they're doing, I can't speak to, but it is before them, not us. And and we've actually never had an application, Correct. an appeal of the sky exposure plan. We've had discussions of it, right. but we've never had an actual appeal of that to us. Uh, is, is that technically correct? No, or? no. So, but it, either way, it, it's not before us. So it goes to, it goes to that. Okay, thank you. Notice. Hmm? We didn't ask about notice. Did you check? Oh, it? yes. Uh, 26 notices started. were sent, 16 were signed and returned. Uh, I haven't gotten any other full letters back or denials back. Okay, <coughs> great. Uh, I uh, move to close the uh, meeting. Second. I move that the application be granted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good luck. Thanks, Thanks for seeing they yeah. have access to both villages? Yeah. Really? How yes. did they do? So they, they pay the land and school taxes. Land and school taxes. Yeah. But For the portion of the property that. But that in Hastings, they probably only pay on land because there's no structure on it, right? Correct. Wow. That's weird. But typ typically, typically, residents have the choice of where their kids go to school. I think they have a choice to school because of their. Because both, they're in, but, in, but they in two jurisdictions. Right. right. But then. Right, but then the question I would have on, on the village tax, it would be split. But I think they'd only have to pay one district tax. I wonder how that works. Uh, it would probably be the one district they choose to send their children to if they only have one. That, that would be logical. But yeah, it would be logical. Yeah, I, not necessarily not work yeah. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> As an architectural aside, that's a fun roof line. It's a fun yeah. roof line. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, it looks, looks really good. Okay, okay. 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 you just Thank you. Okay, I should close it out. Okay, they're all the ceasing. Is that our record? Does this beat our record, Peter? I'm sorry. Right. 16 weeks. Uh, uh, you know, I think we, I think I think we, we had one even faster. Yes. Yeah. Close the meeting. Uh, move to close. Yeah. See, you think, you're going to think it's like that all the time. Right. <laughs> you're going to come here and go. We've had some late nights. <laughs>